Well done for finding the last Easter egg. This is video six. If you haven't found the earlier videos yet, perhaps pause the video here and come back to it once you have found the previous ones. There are six to find. If you haven't already done so, please follow the link below to sign up to guarantee your free chocolate Easter egg. Remember to watch out for the letters that appear on the screen during the video and make a note of them. Bring all the letters along to Cornerstone Methodist Church any time between 2pm and 4pm on Saturday to collect your egg. Good luck finding the rest of the eggs. So, Jesus had been sentenced to death. This next part of the story isn't very nice at all. The Roman soldiers whipped Jesus and they mocked him with a cloak and a crown of thorns. They made him carry his big heavy cross up to the top of the hill. And when he was so weak that he couldn't continue, someone else had to take over for him. When they all got to the top of the hill, called Golgotha, the Roman soldiers hit nails through his hands and his feet to attach him to the cross. Two other criminals were set to die with him. One of them mocked him even more, saying, If you are the saviour, save us all. But the other one realised that Jesus had done nothing wrong and said, He shouldn't be here. Jesus, through all of this, was praying for people. And that second thief, he asked God to forgive him and said, you will be beside me in paradise. And he prayed for forgiveness for the Roman soldiers, saying, God, they don't know what they are doing. It was getting close to the middle of the day, when the daylight should have been at its brightest. And yet the sky went black. Darkness descended for three hours. At the end of those three hours, there was a tremor, an earthquake, rocks split open and Jesus said it is finished and then died. A wealthy Jewish man asked if he could take Jesus's body for burial. He took Jesus, wrapped him in linen cloths and laid him in a tomb of his own. He rolled a big stone in front of it and the Roman authorities placed guards in front of the tomb. Jesus was dead. He was buried in a tomb. That might seem like the end of the story, but it very much isn't. Come along with all your information to Cornerstone Methodist Church and find out the next part of the story.